All righty. Good morning, everyone. My name is Araya Harley, and I am the Communications and the Events Manager for the uh, Chamber of Commerce. And today we will be going over a presentation on how to ensure that you are deep, deep conditioning your hair correctly. And our presenter is stylist Tamara Marshall, and she is with Abyssinia Hair and Beauty Clinic. They are one of our proud chamber members. And just a side note, they'll be having a ribbon cutting here pretty soon. So visit our website to take a look at that information. And Tamara, if you want to go ahead and start, I'm going to give you the floor. So good morning. This is Tamara. I'm Charlie. I'm the uh, PEO and the HR manager and recruiter for Abyssinia. We both work for Mini, our owner and founder. And we just want to say uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to host this uh, webinar and uh, to share Tamara with you and her ideas about how to do the benefits of deep conditioning. Tamara has been in the industry for 32 years and she's been with Abyssinia for a handful. Um, she's passionate and she's a driven stylist who puts her clients first always. And what we love about her is her dedication to her craft and always wanting to do things better. So when you, the day that you sit in her chair is the day that your thoughts about hairstyling and your hair will change. So let me introduce to you Tamara Marshall. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you guys for coming on to the webinar Oops. and allowing me to give you the opportunity to, hold on. You're good. Allowing you the opportunity, giving me the opportunity to share uh, the benefits of deep conditioning um, and why it is necessary in your hair regimen. So uh, first we'll start with deep conditioning is, it's not a new technique. It has been used for many years and it's for the improvement of our hair since we use many different tools from our flat irons, our uh, curling irons, our wands, even the blow dryer, all of those tools and products that we use on the heat on our hair, it puts our hair through a lot of manipulation. That's why sometimes when we don't, you know, deep condition, your hair is mangled or it feels matted or tangled or rough or dry. So we'll talk about why you need to um, utilize deep conditioning after you color your hair, before you blow dry your hair, to detangle your hair, styling your hair. And um, we'll talk about why deep conditioning helps restore your hair back to its natural place sometimes without minimal damage. So first, Deep conditioning helps improve our hair's moisture. It's, uh, it's moisture content and it keeps it hydrated. Uh, deep conditioning should be a consistent part of the regimen through winter, fall, spring, summer to help maintain healthy hair. So a lot of times during summertime, springtime is warm outside. We, we get involved in a lot of these activities, you still have to deep condition your hair. And then especially during winter time, because it's cold, you want to deep condition your hair because you want to add the nutrients and protein back to your hair. Because again, with our styling techniques and styling tools and things that we use, we take our hair through so much so that deep conditioning and I'm going to say deep conditioning over many times so you guys can really get this in in your mind and understand why it's important to constantly deep condition your hair or just condition your hair not just shampoo but add some condition to your hair so you can maintain the health of your hair so deep conditioners contain humectants that draw moisture to your hair shaft reducing damage and breakage. A deep conditioning treatment will condition the cuticle and help the scale-like cells to lie flat, giving the hair a smoother and shinier appearance. And I know I'm doing some uh, uh, stylist talk about the hair shaft and the cuticle and the scale-like scales that's on your hair. If you looked at your hair under a microscope, you would be able to see all of the different things that I'm talking about. And I know this is probably above what most of you understand as far as hair, but those things are very important to understand because the conditioning getting in, into that is what allows our hair to maintain its healthy look and minimize um, split ends. So back to what I was talking about, 
um, it gives the hair a smoother and shinier appearance. It will add moisture to your locks. One of the main reasons that hair becomes unmanageable and dull looking is because it's been stripped of its moisture and deep condition conditioning will replace the moisture back into your hair. So again, deep conditioning or conditioning your hair is very, very important in your hair regimen daily. I, I won't say daily because you don't have to wash your hair daily. I know a lot of ladies shampoo their hair daily, but honestly, that should that really shouldn't happen. You should be really shampooing your hair at least once a week. And in that process, you should be conditioning or deep conditioning your hair depending on what it is that you do on a daily basis or a weekly basis, um, swimming, exercise, Again, you, utilizing hair tools, when you shampoo your hair during the week, you should definitely be deep conditioning your hair. So ladies, I'm gonna tell you right now where we are. No, you should not be shampooing your hair every day. You do not have to wash your hair every day. Maybe twice a week and really not even, you know, twice a week, maybe, but you do not have to shampoo your hair every day because doing that, you are stripping all the things out that you're trying to put in with your conditioning uh, treatments. So anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, deep conditioning treatments can add moisture when hydration is lacking and are revived and soften the most stressed or overworked hair. It may take more than one conditioning treatment. So again, depending on the damage of your hair, um, what you you know done to your hair, coloring, uh, color processing, chemical processing, flat ironing, all of the different hot tools that you use on your hair, it is damaging. So that's why it's important to do the deep conditioning treatments. But anyway, depending on how overworked or how overstressed your hair is, is how much condi conditioning treatment you need to do to your hair. And again, it can still be done weekly, but it's still you can also add leave-in conditioners during the week when your hair is not uh, shampooed, just to add that protein and those nutrients that you've already stripped out of your, out of your hair um, with the stress that we do on a daily basis. So depending on your home care, a deep conditioning treatment can last up to four weeks. Um, and that's deep conditioning when you shampoo your hair, and I'll demonstrate that later, but you will put a mask on your hair and you'll put yourself under a heat dryer, uh, just a cap or something and, and just for 30 minutes and let that heat get into your hair. You can do that every four weeks. But as far as daily, uh, weekly, yes, you condition your hair weekly. So we have three different categories of types of conditioning uh, that you can do to your hair. We have the leave-in conditioner, which moisturizes your scalp softens, detangles, and it refreshes your hair. It strengthens your hair, it helps your hair to grow, and this is something that you don't rinse out, you leave in, um, you leave it in, you can put it in every day. It's uh, helped to protect your hair, it smooths and hydrates your hair, depending on the formula that's in the leave-in conditioner, which is important. And I won't get into the specifics of all of those different things. If you want to ask me about that, you can um, write your question down about what type of leave-in conditioners you should be using. And you can have a array send that to me and I'll get back to you about it. Or you can personally reach me uh, at Abyssinia. I'm here at the salon five days a week, Monday through Saturday, but you can ask me about those questions as far as uh, leave-in conditioners. So, um, but let me continue on. So it helps to um, hydrate your hair. You can spray a leave-in conditioner on your hair every day. It won't do any damage to it. It's no over process, but you just have to use a little bit, which I'll also demonstrate and show you how much leave-in conditioner you should be spraying into your hair. Um, and again, I'll do that demonstration later. So then we have the rinse-out conditioner. The rinse-out conditioner, it can be any 
any conditioner, but you definitely don't want to use, honestly, any store-bought conditioners because a lot of those conditioners are, they have too much alcohol, they are water-based, and they mess up the pH of your hair. That's why sometimes you might be conditioning and conditioning and you feel like your hair is not getting any better because a lot of those conditioners have too much alcohol in it and it throws off the pH in your hair. So anyway, the pH, the rinse out conditioner, pretty much somewhat does the same as a, they, as a leave-in conditioner. Only difference is it is a more of a cream base, but it also protects the hair. It smooths and hydrates the hair. Um, it does it for between one to three days. That's why I say you can wash your hair once, a, once or twice a week because when you put the conditioner in, it can last in your hair between one to three days, depending on the conditioner that you use. It's a surface conditioner, and it is strictly for the outer strands of the hair. Uh, the processing times are short, and they generally feel your hair feels more slippery when you use a rinse out conditioner, but you wanna make sure that you rinse it out completely, which again, I'll demonstrate later. The main purpose of a washout conditioner is to close the cuticle of the hair follicle and restore any moisture that may have been lost during the washing process. Because when you wash your hair, of course, you know, you take all the oils out, all the dirt, all the debris, anything that, that was in your hair, and chlorine, chemicals, whatever, you wash it out, but the conditioning puts all, a lot of the nutrients back into your hair that you lost. It restores that moisture. Um, why should you use one? It's a great, it's for great, it's for, to strengthen and greaten your hair. It starts in the shower. So you'll need to make sure to include a rinse out conditioner in your daily routine. Um, and and I'm, I'm gonna ref I'm gonna come back from that. You don't have to use a rinse out conditioner daily. You definitely want that. So that might have, but you definitely want to use a conditioner, rinse out conditioner weekly in your um, weekly routine, not daily. So, um, but you can use your leave-in conditioner daily. Now let's go into uh, my third um, uh, third uh, conditioning treatment, and that's your deep conditioner. Now the deep conditioners are filled with a large concentration of super hydrating and strengthening ingredients. Some have argan oil, some have keratin, and vitamin B. To be honest, all it took was I'm trying to figure out a word to, to tell you that is more understanding for, for you guys, but I'll just say hair ingredients that you put, in, put back into your hair that you've lost during the week or the month when you are um, doing your daily hair regimens. Um, it's a quick fix to several issues from over dull, overall your dull hair, lifeless hair, um, damaged hair, stripped hair, and split ends, your hair that have split ends. Deep conditioners have powers set from, deep conditioner has powers, I'm sorry you guys, I have a typo here, but anyway, it has powers in it to penetrate and bring your hair back from lifeless to life, live and lovely hair. Um, so I'm going to give you the definition of each one. A leave-in conditioner, they have extra moisture to the they add extra moisture to the hair, protect the hair from damage and helps from daily damage and helps in detangling. They are helpful with dry, damaged, or frizzy hair. Leave-in conditioners can be used on all types of hair. Your rinse out conditioner, the main purpose is to close the cuticle and restore moisture that may have been lost due to washing, over processing, coloring, and styling. And last but not least, deep conditioners. 
help restore the hair's natural shine. Deep conditioning helps moisture the scalp and helps reduce itching and flaking. They place protein back into colored and chemically treated hair. They also help with dry and dull hair. So we all have different types of hair and we all can we all use different types of conditioner and mask on our hair. And me as a stylist, I would use what I'll use different products on different people because we all can't use the same thing on our hair. Because um, even though in a salon we have all these different conditioners, we have all the different conditioners for a reason. Because if you have a person who has hair that's that's overprocessed, I may use a different conditioner on their hair. If you have a person who has thin hair, I'll use a conditioner, different conditioner on their hair. So you also have to make sure that you're using the right conditioner depending on the texture um, and the porosity and density of your hair. If you have thick hair, of course, you're not going to use certain are certain conditioners and if you have thin hair you're only going to use specific conditioners because you can't use something that's too heavy on thin hair and something that's too light on thick hair so in the process of you styling and doing your hair these are certain things that you definitely should learn or ask your stylist what specific conditioners that you should be using um your leave-in conditioner or your um just regular uh, weekly conditioner on your hair. Um, in the end, a good conditioning treatment will treat your hair accordingly. So if you if you condition your hair and take care of your hair and, it, and manage your hair that way, I promise you it'll make your hair easier to style easier to, to uh, maintain and control but it all definitely begins with your deep conditioning so with that i'm going to demonstrate um, first i'm going to shampoo uh, my daughter would be my model i'm going to mm -hmm. shampoo her hair then i'll show you how to condition your hair from your leave-in conditioner your daily conditioner and also your deep conditioner, deep conditioning process. So if you just give me one second, I'm gonna shift from here um, and go on over to the shampoo bowl. Thank you, Tamara. We're gonna make a change in the camera here, so. Okay, let me, can I take a drink of water real quick? Yep. I have cotton. Unmute. This is the water warm because this water is super cold. But it warmed up pretty fast to take the water. Does that feel okay? Although we are not talking about shampooing, I'm going to shampoo her hair first because uh, it's uh, a lot of product into it. 
color blending to be able to show you what it is that I'm trying to show you. Uh, I'm going to shampoo her hair. So even with your shampoo window, guys, you know, we're not talking about this and maybe we'll cover that another time. You don't have to use a lot of shampoo, uh, just a, just a, maybe like a quarter amount, just to shampoo your hair at home as well. You don't have to cake on uh, a pile of shampoo in, your, in the palm of your hand to get your hair clean. So just give me a second to get some of this out so I can actually show you. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate for you guys is how to put when you're putting a leave in conditioner in your hair. I'm going to show you how to uh, spray it because you don't have to, unless the directions tell you to saturate your hair, you do not have to saturate your hair with leave-in conditioner. Uh, most of the time, I would tell, well, young ladies that are just uh, putting leave-in conditioner versus using a regular conditioner, you're just gonna lightly spray it in your hair anyway. Most people that use a daily leave-in conditioner are ladies who use um, who wear their hair natural uh, in, this, in its natural form. So I'll show you just a second. You can bring her out. Go ahead, sit up for me, Tanira. Okay, so say you've shampooed your hair, you want to. Definitely towel dry to get a lot of the water water out. So now, um, I don't have a, a So hold on just for a second. You stay right there, Charlie. I don't have a leave in conditioner here, so I'm going to use my spray just to, as a leave in conditioner, conditioner, just so I can demonstrate for you. So you definitely want to make sure that your hair. You want to, you're going to lightly spray six inches away from your hair. So this is where my hand is, about six inches away. Lift your hair and spray. Lift your hair and spray. This way you're going to come around like this, around your head, lifting your hair and spraying. So I'm just showing you from my standpoint if this were you doing this to your hair. So you see I'm not spraying a lot. <clears throat> That's all you need to do. You want to massage it into your hair. This is for your leave-in conditioner. You want to massage it into your hair, rub it all the way to the end, because conditioner is really uh, not for the scalp, it's for the hair. The scalp is for, you know, shampoo and we clean our scalp, but the conditioner is really for the hair. If you have a, a wide tooth comb brush, you want to just comb it, that leave-in conditioner in. I'm not really going to comb it too much because I got to get in this hair right here, but comb it all the way to the end. And then you're just going to style it, however you're going to style it. So we're going to comb it all the way to the end. I'm just going to do the top of her hair because, I, like I said, I have to get in here and shampoo her hair. I had her not shampoo it just so I can show you guys this. But um, you're going to comb it all the way to the end, and then you're going to just style it how you want to style it. So that's for your leave-in conditioner. You're going to put it in, spray it in your hair about six inches away, and let the mist kind of just fall in there. If the directions call for saturation, then of course, you're going to saturate, which means you are going to spray, 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 spray until your hair is kind of like drippy wet, and you're still going to do the same process. You're going to massage it into your hair, and then you're going to take your comb or brush and you're going to comb it out, style it as usual. Okay, so that's, go ahead and hold your head back for me to me. That's the leave-in conditioner method. So then now I'm going to show you just your regular weekly conditioner, how you would also uh, add this to your hair. I have another conditioner that I'm going to use for that. And... 
We also, same thing, you're gonna shampoo, you're going to rinse, wring your hair out, you're gonna towel block, hold your head up for me, Tamara. Get all of, as much of the water out as you possibly can. And then you're gonna take your, your daily conditioner. No, I'm sorry, excuse me, weekly conditioner. I'm so used to doing things daily that I say daily so much, but weekly, because you don't have to do this daily. So also the same thing, depending on how thick your hair is though, you don't have to use a lot. See, I just have very little in my hand. I'm gonna rub it. Place it all around. See, I still have some in my hand because you don't have to use a lot of the product. Get all up in here. See, I still have a little on my hand. And now you're gonna just rub it through all the way through your hair, same method as the leave-in conditioner, only difference is you are actually gonna rinse this out. So same, you're gonna put it all the way in to the ends of the hair. If you need to put a little more, you can put a little more, but, and especially for people whose hair is a little bit thicker, you might need a little bit more, but you still don't have to use a whole lot of conditioner. And then you're gonna say, do the same method, you're gonna comb the hair, starting from the end, and work your way up, work your way up, work your way up, starting from the end, work your way up until it's combed all the way through from the hair shaft all the way down to the tips of the hair, where majority of your damage is in the tips of your hair. That's why stylists tell you to come in and get your hair trim between six to eight weeks because it grows a, a, a half an inch in a month so then when you come back, you just cut those dead ends off. So again, you do the same method, shampoo, then you condition, you don't have to use a lot of conditioner. Then you towel block the hair, put the conditioner on from the, from the shaft all the way down to the ends of the hair. And then you're gonna comb it through. Once it's combed through, that process takes about, maybe depending on your hair, it can go from five to 15 minutes. And then hold your head back for me, Tamir. Then you're gonna rinse it out. So this is your rinse out method. So we've covered your leave-in method, your rinse out method, and now we're gonna do the extra deep conditioning method. So just, I don't have to really shampoo all of it, rinse all of it out because I'm gonna shampoo it all later. So now we're gonna do the deep condition method. So make sure you have a plastic cap handy. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna shampoo the hair really good, get all the debris out. Make sure it's, it's all clean. Then after you shampoo the hair, again, you're gonna wring your hair out. Bring all the water out. I know you're tired of holding your head up and down, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna towel block because you wanna get as much of the water moisture out of the hair as possible. I mean, not moisture, sorry, water out of the hair because you wanna keep moisture because that's, that's what keeps your hair healthy is the moisture. So anyway, we're gonna wring it out, towel block, much of the water out as possible. So now I'm gonna use, this one is an intensity conditioning treatment. So this is what I use for my deep conditioning when I'm at home. So you wanna take some of this, say you don't have to use a lot, but you do wanna make sure that the hair is completely covered. So this, with this same thing, I'm putting it all over her hair, front, back, sides, edges, middle. In this process, I'm definitely gonna use more because I want her hair completely covered.
all the way to the end. Same thing, you're gonna take the comb. You are going to comb the hair out from the end all the way up. And the reason why I say from the end, because if the hair is tangled, you don't wanna be pulling the hair from here because then you'll pull the hair out. So you wanna come from here and work your way up until you can comb through that hair smoothly without any, see like she has a snag right here. So without any snag, so if you have to start from here again, coming all the way up, you wanna keep going over and over until that hair is completely combed out. Now, I'm not gonna do that right now to comb it out because I still need to go back and shampoo her hair. So just say your hair is completely combed out. Now you wanna take your cap and it doesn't matter how, uh, where you start to put it on, you just wanna put it on and make sure your whole, all your hair is completely covered under the cap. If you have a cap at home that you can attach to your dryer, then of course you're gonna attach the cap to your dryer and then you're gonna sit under there for 30 minutes and let this mask, moisture, protein, everything get into your hair. Where here, of course, I have the dome dryer. So I would put Tamara, let me walk over here and show you. Hold on over Tamara just for a second. Um, I would put her under this dryer, of course, 30 minutes. She will be 30 minutes after the 30 minutes. You'll, you'll, you'll know that the uh, conditioner has gotten into your hair because it'll feel like it's sweating up under here. After you've done that, of course, come back to where I'm sorry. Baby. Then you'll do the same process all over again. You're going to take the cap off, lay your head back in there for me. You'll feel the difference in your hair. I can't feel anything right now because of course we're just doing a walkthrough, but you'll feel the difference in your hair. And you only have to do this three, like maybe three to four weeks. Um, but if I say if you're a person who like me swims and you're in chlorine, I would actually recommend doing a deep, deep conditioning treatment once a week. But for the most part, every three to four weeks, you can do the deep conditioning treatment with the cap, or a mask or whatever, something that plastic that you have that you can cover your head with and go up under the dryer. And then the same process afterwards, you are going to thoroughly, in this time, you want to thoroughly rinse your hair because you want to make sure that you get all of that conditioner, especially if you're going to be styling again, but you want to make sure that you wash all of the product out. Even though you wash the product out, it doesn't mean that it's uh, it's coming out of your hair because it's gotten into the hair shaft, it's gotten into the cuticle, it's gotten, it's gotten into places where it needs to be. So you don't have to worry about, uh, well, if I rinse it back out, isn't it coming out? It's not coming out. It's, it's done what it's needed to do in your hair. So you're just going to rinse it out, thoroughly rinse it out, make sure that it's all out of your hair. And then after that, you're just gonna towel block, blow dry, and style your hair however you're gonna style your hair. If you don't blow dry and you wear it natural, then you just put whatever you put on your hair. Um, but if you do style your hair after, just towel block your hair, blow dry, and style, and that's it. So that's the three methods of, con of conditioning your hair. You have your leave-in conditioner, you have your rinse-out conditioner, and you have a mask or just the regular. And honestly, you could use any conditioner to deep condition your hair. You don't necessarily have to use a mask or a protein. I prefer to use those when I'm doing a deep conditioning, but you can use any conditioner. Long as it's a good quality conditioner, you can use anyone to do a deep conditioning treatment on your hair. So that's my demonstration. That's my presentation. <laughs> so now do I have any questions from anyone? If you do have questions and you're like your camera shy and you do have questions, you can always, um, again, reach me here at Abyssinia in Kit. Um, you can, if the phone number is 253-813-1700. You can call me anytime. 
and you can come by and see me and we can talk about uh, treatments for your hair. So Tamara, actually, we did have a question from uh, one of the ladies. Okay. Um, Anne is asking, what are your thoughts on hot oil treatments? Okay, so now hot oil treatments, that's a whole other situation, well, uh, topic right there. But hot oil treatments are also really good for our hair and you don't have to do hot oil treatments, of course, every week. You don't have to have, have, even have to do them every month. It just depends on the condition of your hair. And her name is Ann? Yep. Okay, so Ann, you could come see me or call me um, and we could talk about the hot oil treatment and we can also talk about the condition of your hair and go into that on another uh, at another time. But I would love to cover uh, talk to you about the hot oil treatments. But they are also really good for your hair as well. Yeah, I actually I'm transitioning my hair right now, um, just after a lot of heat damage and relaxers and stuff. So I've been doing it for about a year without heat and anything on my hair, and I'm getting to the point where. I need to actually cut it and do all that kind of stuff. And I'm scared of that. So I hopped on on here because I was like, maybe you know about cutting curly hair and shaping it as I'm like trying to transition because I'm not trying to cut it all off either. Oh, okay. I did not think it's a part of what you said. So asking about cutting your hair. Maybe my interna internet's not that great right now, but I'll email you. I know I heard something about cut cutting curly hair and not chopping it all off. I think I heard that part, but you don't have to worry about that because I'm not that stylist that likes to chop off people's hair. I'm, I'd rather gradually trim your hair and have you come back every six to eight weeks to take that damaged hair off a little bit at a time. And, but if you do wear your hair natural, I will suggest a leave-in conditioner and definitely conditioning your hair once a week and deep conditioning three to four times a week because with our hair, with our natural hair, because I wear my hair natural, I'm just in braids right now. Our hair, you know, with the, the weather, weather condition, all of that stuff takes effect. And it does, um, I mean, all of those things affect our hair. So cold, wind, rain, whatever, it all affects our hair. No matter what, um, nation, what nationality or race you are, white, Asian, black, it still affects our hair. So we all should be using all these different conditioning met methods. But for us who wear our hair natural, I always suggest a leave-in conditioner for our hair. You don't, if you don't want to do a daily, that's fine. But most of the time we put something in our hair every day to make to for our natural curl. So get you a leave-in conditioner for your hair. And I would love to know what products you are putting in your hair and I'll help with that process. Do we have any other questions or um, anyone else? Let's see those two. Nope, she just said thank you. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Just call me here at the salon or email me. Mm -hmm. How did it look, Araya? Yeah. Thank, thank you for that information. We are just going to say we are definitely me and my daughter coming back to you in a couple weeks to get that trim. Um, we did a color and a flat iron with Tamara, my daughter, um, last weekend. So she she's great. I, I know firsthand from experience. So I can't wait for you guys to let her, um, her great stylist hand touch your hair if you guys decide. Contact the Abyssinia. And again, if you guys have any questions, you can out to Avicenna, visit that you may need. Again, we do greatly appreciate you showing us these um, deep conditioning treatment. Um, oh, it's no. I, I, and I hopefully we can keep it up ourselves. I, not, I hear you that, talking. I can't get the icons to come. <laughs> but, um, there So I'll go back to the... No, you're, you're good. Okay. We will make sure we um, have your... You can email her or email her. 
Well, All right. Well, we are going to go ahead and in this reason, everyone's kind of having internet. It's kind of what you get downtown Kent, right? Um, so uh, we, we will go ahead and end the presentation. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.